What's up, YouTube? You know what it is. Raw Sports TV. Back at it again. Man, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Well, we got that boy Jerron Boots Ennis reacting to Crawford versus David Avenesia. Boy, Jerron Boots Ennis said he would have been took the Crawford fight if they called him. Say he been was asking for it before his last fight. This is a shame, man. It's no way in the world they should have let Terrence Crawford seat pass his mandatory or anybody in the top three. For one, he shouldn't be fighting nobody but Earl Spence. That's for one. And all this other bullshit he doing, going behind people back negotiating at another round table Why people anticipating on the biggest fight in boxing. Shh. Miss me with that bullshit. That boy scared. But just check it out. Listen to Jerome Boos and his tell it tell him his tell it himself. I was shocked too, Boots. Did you get a phone call about that fight or a so, that potential fight for Terrence Crawford? Me? Yeah. No, I ain't got no phone call. You know, I would took that in a heartbeat. Now, David Avnesian is a guy that you pursued for a fight. Um, yeah. I think your dad said, they said later on, they fight you later on. Yeah, they, um, I was trying to fight him uh, my last fight, and they said they had needed a warm-up or something like that. And they wind up, I think they wind up taking a fight in like June or something like that. And I don't know, so I don't know what was going on, but. He was definitely one of the guys I was trying to fight <clears throat> to stay busy. Now, you worked yourself up to be either number one and number two in practically every sanction about it. Yeah. Is it frustrating seeing them basically pick past you to guys that, you know, they, they tell you to earn your way up to number one, but then they pick a guy that's at number seven? Uh, I mean, I, I ain't really too worried about these other guys. I know, I feel like everything falling right into place. For real, for real. Everything falling right into place, right on line. They gonna, either way, they're going to have to see me either way, so it don't even really matter. What's the fight that you want next? Uh, anybody that got a world title, so that's Earl Spence, but you uh, stand on it, so it don't even matter who it is. Anybody with a belt, you know, I ain't trying to go backwards. I'm trying to go forward. Uh, make, a, make a great name for myself and show these guys who the real best ones to be in the world is. So you just heard it there. That boy Jerome Boots in and said he would have been took that fight. They ain't call him. Skipped over his name. I'm wondering why, too. How is it that Earl Spence Jr. has to fight either one of his mandatories and Terrence Bud Crawford don't even got to sniff his mandatories? Hell no, man. This is crazy, man. They need to make the Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence fight now. Mandate it. I don't care what you got to do. I still haven't even heard Terrence Crawford promote the David Avenesia fight. Are they really fighting or is he going to pull out this one too? I mean, the way this boy do business is like he's trying to scam somebody. Hence, the reason why Bob Arum always said it's hard to negotiate with Bud. He think he's bigger than what he is. Man, that's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all hit like, comment, subscribe, man. Share these videos, man. Support your boy, Raw Sports TV. We out.